We're here finally back in the Fantasy Bar with six plays for you for Friday night in the NBA, including five guys I think are too cheap on FanDuel and or DraftKings. And we're going to answer the question, what stud should I pay up for tonight? Who are we talking about? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Friday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Good to be back home once again in the Fantasy Bar. Thank you, as always, for stopping by and checking out the video. Now, got to give a special shout out to my boys, Chief and Stevie, for filling in, and to everybody out there that reached out. Unfortunately, lost my brother to a heart attack. So it's been a tough time, but thank you so much to this community for propping me up, keeping me going here. And just a reminder hug your loved ones, tell them how much you love them. Spend that time with them because you just never know. All right, let's get into the NBA here for tonight. Before we do that, a couple things as always. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button on the video. Greatly appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, head over to scoresandodds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs. Premium picks from some of your favorite Roto-Grinders personalities in the NBA. Those guys have been killing it. Also, a bunch of Super Bowl picks already up. Or I should say the big game. Big game picks up for you here. Uh, on the on Sunday, so make sure you guys are checking that out as well. All right, let's get into the plays here for the NBA on Friday night. Seven games on the docket. We've narrowed it down to six of my favorite plays. Let's start at point guard, shooting guard with Cole Anthony of the Magic. Now Jalen Suggs questionable here tonight. It's a nice little boost for Cole Anthony. Obviously, now a tough spot here on the road. Big underdogs against Utah, but I think that's going to help us in the ownership department. People are going to look at that number. Not going to want to play him in this matchup with that Jazz team. Worried about the blowout. So we could get some low ownership here on Cole Anthony. And that's something I want to take advantage of here. 50 or more DraftKings points quite a few times, including the other night against Portland. And even in this matchup, 51 DraftKings points the last time these two teams played. So without subs, that's more usage for Cole Anthony. We know the upside is there in all of the categories. Gives you that triple-double upside and price is fair right around 7,000. All right, let's get you some value next at point guard, shooting guard with Kobe White of the Bulls. So the Bulls gonna be down quite a few guards, specifically point guards. We know Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso remain out. The Sanmu also questionable here for Chicago tonight. So Kobe White, a guy that's been great in your cash games. And when you look at that FanDuel price at just 4,400, one of the first guys I'd be plugging in in that format, 24 or more fantasy points now in 10 of the last 15 games, and we haven't seen a massive ceiling out of him. We know there's some usage monsters on that team with DeRozan, Levine, and Vooch, but doing enough, and I think even at these prices in tournaments, he makes sense here, especially in a matchup with Minnesota. Second highest pace in all of the NBA. The Bulls played high, 122 and a half point projected total here. Bulls gonna smash Kobe White, great. Value play tonight against Minnesota. All right, let's stay in value town at power forward or center with P.J. Washington of Charlotte. So Charlotte, another team, going to be down some guys. Kind of every team in the NBA right now down some guys. But no Hayward. We know he's going to be out for a while. Martin and McDaniels also going to miss this game tonight. And Washington seeing more minutes, and it's obviously led to a bump in his production as well. He's averaging 33 minutes per game over the last couple. That's led to almost 27 DraftKings points per game. So nice production here on those minutes. Last time out against the Pistons went over 30 DraftKings points. So a good matchup here. We know anytime you see Detroit on the schedule, get some exposure to them. Of course, LaMelo and the boys in play here, but P.J. Washington, a solid value under 5K. All right, let's go to the other side of that game. A little correlation with Hamadou Diallo of Detroit. The Pistons, once again, could be without their star rookie, Cade Cunningham. Nice boot usage bump here for Diallo when that happens. Utilizing our court IQ tool here at Roto-Grinders, almost a 4% usage bump. Puts him over 25% when Cunningham is gone. We know Josh Jackson traded away, Trey Lyles. So they're going to need these guys like Diallo to step up here. And he's certainly done that on the offensive end, taking a lot more shots than normal. Averaging almost 14 shots per game here over the last four. Charlotte, a great matchup for shooting guards. Third most fantasy points allowed. Diallo, too cheap here on DraftKings at just 4,600. All right, Value Town rolls on at center with Gogo Batadze of the Pacers. Now, center tough tonight. We know Joel Embiid in a great spot here tonight. So, spending up on him, sure. DraftKings, you can fit both of these guys. I would mix and match my lineups on Fandle 
Get some exposure here to Batadze as well. Just too cheap here. With Sabonis off to Sacramento, Miles Turner once again going to miss tonight. So they are thin down low. And this guy, anytime he's got run, he's been productive. When we look at the sample this season, 30 or more DraftKings points in each of the last three that he has played 30 or more minutes. And I'd certainly peg him for 30, 32 minutes here on this slate. Now, Cleveland, not a great matchup overall. Pretty good defensive team. We know down low. Guys like Jared Allen, Evan Mobley can get it done, but have struggled on the board, surprisingly, with those guys. Fifth most rebounds allowed to center. So, Tadze's rebound numbers all over the board here, but I think 30 fantasy points is well within his possibilities here. And in fact, I think he can challenge 40. We're talking an 8, 9, possible 10x return on this number for Gogo. But Tadze, all right, it's time to take a look and my favorite play on Friday night. Before we do that, we want to continue our Beast of the Night contest. Free to play, easy to play. All you got to do, get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points for my favorite play tonight on FanDuel. The closest guest is going to win themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium, a chance to utilize Court IQ, all the other tools that we're constantly talking about. So let's take a look. Let's wrap this baby up. My favorite play for Friday night. You know, Mass, the Beast of the Night. <laughs> All right, this time we've saved you a lot of money here so we can spend up at the point guard position with DeJounte Murray of the Spurs, tonight's beast of the night. I absolutely love this spot for Murray here tonight. We know Trey Young, as good as he is offensively from behind the three-point line, he is terrible defensively. So Murray should eat him alive here. Derek White shipped off to Boston, so that should open up a little bit more usage. I think Murray needs a bump in that department, but last time against Atlanta, Shout out to Ice Cube, almost messed around and got a triple-double in that game, almost 55 DraftKings points against Atlanta. And we know it gives you a solid floor, back 40 or more DraftKings points now in 19 of his last 21 games. And that upside certainly there as well. We've seen him eclipse 60 three times over the last nine. I think he goes 60 once again here tonight against Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. DeJounte Murray, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for Friday night here in the Fantasy Bar with a little happy hour, some value plays, and, of course, my favorite play of the night in DeJounte Murray. Now, don't forget, Fantasy Points for Murray on FanDuel for your shot at some Roto-Grinders Premium for free. Go and check out scoresandodds.com slash beer for all of your sports betting needs. And, again, thank you to everybody out there, not only for watching, but for your support through this tough time. I greatly appreciate it. For Roto-Grinders.com, I am beer saying salut, guys. Best of luck here tonight in the NBA. Enjoy the big game on Sunday. Best of luck over the weekend as well. Enjoy it. Have a great weekend. Hug that family. Tell your friends you love them. Guys, have a great weekend. Thank you again for watching. I am out. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.